welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel guys you would not believe where i am right now i am in mexico i'm currently drinking my mexican coffee right now victor is going to the pharmacy because the day has finally arrived i'm going to vlog like i promised you guys my whole bbl experience i'm gonna really try my best tomorrow is the day i'm nervous and excited but i have just like mixed emotions at this point i don't know how i feel but today i'm just getting everything ready hopefully just have like a chill day today so tomorrow like you know i can be well rested and calm but i don't know how i feel i don't know i'm i'm just nervous sorry if i repeat myself and i stutter i'm just my mind is all over the place but um right now like i said victor is at the pharmacy right now and he's getting me a couple of things that i'm missing from my list that my doctor has sent me and then after that i just i'm gonna take you guys along with me i have seen people that have explained it like you get hit it feels like you got hit by a bus or you just feel like you worked out really intensely so i don't know how i feel about the pain honestly the pain doesn't worry me it's like the fact that I'm getting put to sleep just gives me the heebie-jeebies. But I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to take you guys along with me and hopefully you guys like this vlog. And if you guys are interested in like getting this procedure done, you know what happens. Here's my emotions. I'm going to be really raw with you guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. If you see blood, I'm sorry, trigger warning. YouTube, don't take this off. I know for a fact I'm going to be like bleeding everywhere. So, um, yeah. Yeah decaf coffee because i can't be drinking coffee or any type of caffeine right now since i have to prepare myself i'll see you guys really soon and i'll be back okay so i changed but we're finally on our way to the hospital i actually talked to one of the coordinators there and see if i can get some of my blood work done now so by tomorrow i don't have to like wait that long if that makes any sense but guys i'm like low-key nervous and I'm gonna see if I can take you guys with me. I don't want it to be like awkward, you know? So I'll try to get in some shots and if not, I'm sorry. At least you guys know that I tried. I'll talk to you guys when I get over there. One time outside, cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to record. It's gonna be awkward guys. I'm still trying to get the hang of like taking video when I'm in public. I'm new to this guys. I'm nervous. As you guys saw, I was in the hospital already. I was going to record when they're gonna take out my blood. So basically, they were just gonna do blood work. They weren't gonna do anything crazy. So I really didn't think there was like a point to record. It was just like really fast. They just took out my blood. And to see that everything's okay before I go into surgery tomorrow. But other than that, I just waited. I didn't wanna record because it wasn't really that interesting i loved the hospital there honestly it was so clean and so nice the lady the coordinator that was assisting me was so nice i didn't get her name but she's like i guess the assistant or the person that kind of assists the people that go into the area it's not the doctor you don't see the doctor until you actually get your surgery but i heard he's like a really good guy and he's board certified and he's amazing so i can't wait to see him tomorrow but if you guys are thinking about going to this place I mean, I can't really say I recommend it because I haven't, you know, got into surgery yet, but for the looks of it, it looks pretty nice. I was nervous at first when I got in because obviously, you know, I'm doing surgery. I'm going to get stuff done. But once I got, like, once I stepped foot into that place, my nerves were gone. When I got there, like, my nerves kind of went away because I saw how nice it was. It was really clean. They had security. It was probably one of the nicest private hospitals that I've seen. I haven't even seen that much of a nice hospital where I live in California. So when I went there, my nerves literally just left. And when I talked to the people there and the coordinator, she was like so nice. So I'm not that nervous anymore. I'm kind of excited now. So I can't wait to see what happens. Just woke up guys. It's currently like 7.20. I have to be there by nine. I'm so fucking tired. You know what? I'm happy though because I'm not that nervous. Maybe by the time I get there, I will be nervous, but I'm gonna start putting my hair in braids just so it doesn't get knotted. Sorry if you can hear the water. I'm gonna put my hair in braids and then I'm gonna get ready real quick and then I'll talk to you guys right now, but today's a freaking day. So this is like the outfit I'm taking. 
It tells me to, I almost ate shit. I'm gonna wear something comfy because obviously they're gonna literally get me naked right now. And I'm wearing grandma panties just to be safe. And here's all my shit that I have to bring that they asked me to bring. Oh my God, dude, I'm so nervous now. That's fine, I'm in good hands. It's way too damn early right now. Like I am usually awake by like 12 or one. This is too early for me, but you know what? I'm kind of happy that I'm doing this really early because like, I guess I don't have to overthink because I'm still like kind of asleep. Um, I'm on my way. We're probably gonna get there in about an hour, half an hour, depending on traffic. I'm just, the thing that just sucks is that I can't eat or drink any water and I'm like thirsty as a heck right now. Like I'm so thirsty, but it's fine. We're finally here. I'm so fucking nervous, guys. Honestly, it's starting to hit me now. I'm seriously thinking of backing out, but. I'm finally here and I'm so tired, dude. Dude, there's a lot of girls here. I'm gonna start to whisper because there's like people here. Right now they took my heart rate and see that everything's okay and then I just have to wait and see how everything goes by then. They told me to get here at 9 but I highly doubt I'll be in the surgery room at that time or around that time. Here in the restroom, I've been here for about half an hour now. There's a couple of girls here waiting to get surgery and um, they've been here for a while so before me so I think I'm going to be here for a couple of hours. But yeah, I can't really record that much. It's not that I can't, but there's nothing really interesting. I'm just waiting in the lobby until they call my name. But I feel like right now, this should be the time to give you guys a goodbye. And I'll see you guys when I finally am operated on. That's so scary to think. But I'm in good hands. Dr. Alonzo is gonna be amazing. I'll record once I'm out. This is my room, guys. I'm not gonna film too much because have to get ready. I got my own private room, it's so nice. So nice. I'll see you guys soon when I come back out of surgery. Hi guys, I don't know if you guys can see me well, but I just got out of surgery. I'm gonna try to record tomorrow morning when the lights are on. Here I am. This lighting, it sucks. But the surgery went out amazing. It was about an hour or two, they told me. And I just remember them putting me to sleep. And I was listening to Mike Towers and Raul Alejandro. And I was just vibing and talk to them, talking to them. Yeah, this doctor was really nice and amazing. And I fell asleep immediately, so that's good. It's currently, oh, it's currently like three, four in the morning and I'm finally able to drink water and eat. Let me show you guys what they brought me. Mm, I think this is like a, like a tea broth, two waters and a jello. Just watching TV. I never thought I would have been excited to eat jello right now. I'm not in pain right now. For now. So apparently it wasn't normal to feel nauseous while eating. So they added another type of medicine into my arm. Sorry, I'm bloody. I was bleeding a lot, but um, they added another type of medicine to my arm. And they gave me soup. So they have me on a special diet right now. Um, they gave me like gelatin, water, and now I can eat soup and, and fruit. And my sweat all. So, so happy. But at the same time, I just hate how I get so happy. So I just got out of 
the place. I was just asleep all the time and it just gave me to eat. But here I am. I'm literally sitting on my BBL pillow. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be driving for three I'm hours. Like Honestly, it wasn't even that painful. Like I didn't feel any pain for now since I was on like the IV and stuff, but let's see how it goes when I get home. I wish I could have recorded more, but there wasn't really that much interesting things to record unless me being butt naked bleeding and I don't think YouTube would allow that. The only downside of it all is that I didn't feel any pain, but I did get super nauseous. Every time I would eat, since I showed you guys they did give me food, I would vomit it out, which sucked because I wanted something in my system and in my stomach, but other than that, I still haven't felt any pain. I'm currently laying down in the back of my car because I was sitting down for too long and I didn't want to mess up my butt, <laughs> but this is how it looks like. I'm just happy that I have a Jeep because I have so much space, but... This is my setup, guys. We still haven't left San Ysidro because we were eating and Victor was taking his time, but it's okay. I'm not in pain. Ah, what the fuck? Just got back home, and this is probably one of the worst pains I felt. Sorry, there's like a mess. I'm, my husband was washing, but I'm wearing this because I'm cold and. I was gonna vlog how it was going in my car, but I ended up falling asleep. But this is horrible. It feels so bad. I'm trying my best not to take harsh medicines that they give me. They told me it was optional for the pain. They told me to drink as much Tylenol as I can. Well, not a lot, obviously, but if I'm in pain to drink Tylenol instead of the pain medicine that they gave me because it causes nausea and I already have enough of that. I'm just wearing a gown. As you can tell, I'm bleeding. My faja. And just this cardigan that I've been wearing. I honestly thought it was going to be so painless because that's how I was feeling in the beginning, but I was obviously off meds, so now that I'm off of it, I feel dead. So it's currently like the next day and this is how I woke up. I woke up in pain and swollen as heck. I haven't gone to the bathroom, TMI, so I drank magnesium milk. Pray for me because I'm just scared to go to the restroom in general, so I don't know how this is going to go for me. Poor Victor has to help me. I'm just being real, guys. Honestly, like at this point, you're just gonna have your hoo ha everywhere and people helping you. So you have to prepare yourself for that. Honestly, I really don't give a flying F. It's my husband. And also, when I was in the hospital, I really didn't care. But yeah, I woke up like this. Um, my legs are so swollen, guys. I was like, I woke up really swollen and I started to walk around so I could reduce the swelling and. I took a Tylenol. I'm not trying to take the pain meds that they give me. I took heartburn medicine just in case. And sorry if I'm moving the camera. Like, my arm is so, like, weak. But, um, yeah, like, it's just today's, like, a rough day. And I know for a fact I'm going to pass out when I take off my faja. Because yesterday I took off my faja and I was so close to passing out. Because I have so much pressure and compression on me. When I have it on, I take it off and it releases all of that. So my body's like, what the hell? Um, so today I have my massage. It, and oh, I know it's going to be so bad. Like I know it's not even the pain that I'm going to go through. It's just I'm, I'm going to be nauseous. So that's why I'm not trying to take my pain meds because I'm just going to go downhill from there. I'm eating breakfast right now. I'm just drinking Te de Arnica with the rest of my Ensure smoothie. And let me show you guys what I made. I just made a scrambled egg with a little bit of salt because I can't be eating too much salt or any type of seasonings. This honestly looks gross, but I have to put something in my stomach or I'll feel nauseous. Especially since I'm taking so much meds, like I need something in my stomach. I just woke up from my nap and I realized that I'm bruising like on the top. 
and my legs are so swollen guys let me show you look at my legs i can't even lift them up like can you see that i try my best to walk around to keep the circulation going and i'm drinking blood clot medicine so like i don't have any clots in my blood blood thinners but i'm so tired i don't i don't know what to say i really don't know what to say um hi i'm back this was an interesting experience was it something that i expected no okay let me tell y'all so as you guys saw the recent clips i got surgery and i got a bbl and i'll show you guys right now the results but i wanted to explain to you guys what i went through <laughs> i'm just gonna say i didn't have the most easiest experience i would have thought that i would have had an easy experience due to the fact that i thought i had a high pain tolerance but maybe that was not the case <laughs> okay so i am officially six weeks today today is i believe wednesday i can actually like do normal things now i'm not fully healed um it usually takes around you know like a full year to actually heal but i am now kind of like in my normal state um, and i feel amazing now i do feel some discomfort obviously i don't feel the same as how i was without surgery so yeah, i got a procedure that was pretty big so i'm still kind of sore and swollen these aren't my official results yet but i am now able to walk around go to the store drive just do everything that i would have done you know normally i thought this was going to be easy why because like i said i did have I have a high pain tolerance i'm not gonna lie i do have a high pain tolerance and i do have a couple of people that have gotten this procedure that have said that it did not hurt at all guys when people tell you that please put into consideration that your body is different from everyone else you are not everyone else you have to understand that you are your own person you are your own body so your body will take it maybe well or maybe not so well and hopefully you don't have anything wrong that happens but at the end of the day you are having surgery i am very dumb because although i can take a high pain tolerance i had to understand that i am weaker than other people why do i say this i have very weak veins because of my asthma my, my veins are very tiny so if they have to put in an iv or any type of needle it would be harder because my veins are weak, my veins are tiny. I had to put that into consideration. Was I bleeding a lot? Yes. Also, my back. I had surgery when I was 13 years old. I had scoliosis. I have scoliosis, so I had to get a spinal infusion. Therefore, I have two metal rods in my back. So when you have this type of procedure, a BBL, a Brazilian butt lift, you will have to be put under anesthesia. And also, you will be put under, um, what is it called when you have a kid? Um, what is that called? What they put in your back? But they will have to put that in your spine. I was really scared for that because I thought I wasn't able to do that, but thankfully I was. They just had to put it a certain way, like below, like more under um, on my back. So that was a really good thing. It's just everything that I was doing, I had to put into consideration that I was not like a normal person. I went into surgery as you guys saw and everything was going pretty well. Um, I did start panicking because they put me under tranquilizers and those tranquilizers really hit me. So when the doctor came in to actually see me, I don't remember what I told him. Um, I feel kind of sad and like I, if the doctor is watching this, like I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, he asked me what I wanted and I really don't remember what I told him. I think I said something natural because that's what I wanted in the first place. And guys, charge your phone because I'm so stupid. I was on my phone the whole time while I was waiting to get put into surgery and my phone died so I wasn't able to actually show my doctor a reference. I had a whole album full of references that I had that I wanted for my body and I was not able to show him. So that really sucked but I'm really happy with my results. I could have gotten bigger, I'll show you guys right now, but um, I've gotten a lot of people telling me that I'm perfect the way I look and I, you know what, I think I have to learn to accept that because if I would have gotten any bigger it just would have not been proportional and that's something that i told my doctor that i wanted something proportional i wanted it to match my legs and my hips so um, i had an amazing experience with my doctor i went to baltic surgery in tijuana they were amazing i don't really have any complaints at all actually and it was one of 
the most nicest hospitals I've ever seen. Honestly, better than the hospitals that I've stayed in here. Everything was great. Everything was great. I didn't get to see Dr. Alonso. I feel like that's something that I would have liked um, to talk to him more and get to know him more, but I had to understand that he's a very busy guy. <laughs> I was able to talk to the nurses and the other doctors that were there and they were like super chill. I feel like when I went into surgery, I remember they were placing me and I was like, before you guys start and put me to sleep, I need to talk to Dr. Alonzo. And they're like, oh my God, like why? And I'm like, I don't remember what I told him when they put me on tranquilizers and I want to reassure myself what I told him was correct because what happens if I just told him something stupid while, you know, I was on these tranquilizers and I, I just didn't remember. I wanted to be, you know, confirmed what I said. So they were really nice enough to not start until Dr. Alonzo came and he did take a while since he had to prepare a lot of things and whatever. Uh, I felt really bad. <laughs> but like, no, 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 don't take it like that. Like, it's whatever. So yeah, I ended up talking to him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you're good. You're chilling. So sorry about that. <laughs> Um, it was just like a roller coaster, honestly. I was still able to go the next day and just the ride there was not that comfortable. And I had a really interesting time when I got back home. After that, it was just hell, I'll admit it. The second day of recovering, I was literally staring at myself in the mirror and telling myself that I regretted doing this. I regretted it. I'm like, why did I do this to myself? I'm putting myself in such, in so much pain so so guys i'm not even kidding honestly i'm not trying to even scare you guys but i'm trying to be real i like i said i thought this wasn't going to be painful because i've actually had a lot of friends that have done this procedure and told me that it wasn't to me it's just shocking because i could literally get ran over by a bus and like walk it off like have a child and like laugh like my pain tolerance is high and my whole life i've been in hospitals because of what I've had because of my surgery, because of my asthma, like other things, like I'm used to needles, I'm used to all of these things sadly and I would have thought, oh maybe this wasn't going to be that bad. The needles didn't scare me, nothing scared me, the only thing that scared me was the anesthesia if I was going to wake up, but other than that, like nothing scared me and the pain was not in my head because I thought the pain was not going to be bad until the second day came in and that was just when it hit me the most and it wasn't that I was depressed because of the pain, but because I was just like at home and I was not able to move and that's what made me like, like it was literally eating me alive. Like I was just regretting everything and I ended up getting my massages and the lady was like, it's totally okay to feel that way. Like we all went through this, you're not the only one and it's just something that you have to, you know, get used to but literally after the first week you will feel fine and I took her word and she was 100% correct after the first week I started to feel normal again and I was just so happy and I honestly want to just tell sorry like it's just crazy to me because I'm I don't really like saying sorry because I'm a very apologetic person um but I always stand my ground. I'm not the type of person to say sorry, sorry, sorry for everything. But they're probably used to this. But I literally want to say sorry for all the freaking damn questions that I was asking. I feel like I was annoying them. And I they're probably not annoyed. But I know it's their job. It's like they probably get thousands of messages all the time from people having like millions of messages. But I was literally sending this doctor like, like paragraphs. Like, oh my god. I felt so bad. And it's just... I was just going through it, okay? <laughs> they were amazing. They never gave me attitude or nothing. I All the questions that I had, they answered. I'm actually really happy with my results. Um, right now, I'm still healing and I do have... I need to go to the doctor for this. I need to go back with them so we can check it out. I do have a little indentation on my butt, but that's because it's still healing. Your fat, when they put in the fat, you're not going to have it all. Sometimes your body will reject the fat. And I feel like I have that little spot there. But hopefully I can, you know, do a follow-up and we can check that out. But other than that, I'm really happy with what I have. I'll show you guys right now what I have. And it's just, I've had an amazing experience with them. But, but you know, the after was just... So I'll show you guys the results right now. I am not wearing my phones because I wanted to show you more of like a raw result. When I do have in my phones, it does become a little bulky and I do look bigger. Let me show you guys. This is my body. Um, I am six weeks in. I did have to tie my, can you guys see me? <laughs> I did have to tie my my sweater because I did go sizes down on my top. So I since I was gaining weight, I was going like this. <laughs> since I was gaining weight, I was a large and a medium on top. 
and on the bottoms I was a medium to small since I didn't have a booty but now since I have a booty I am a medium to large and the tops I am a small to medium or even an extra small so I'm still the same weight um, my weight didn't change I am trying to lose weight but I'm kind of scared because I don't want to lose my fat right now so I'm just sticking in protein I'm still the weight that I was when I was gaining weight so I'm still kind of on the heavy side but I look good so I don't really care <laughs> my waist is literally snatched I am wearing my faja underneath my stage 2 faja and these are my hips as you can tell my hips are filled and here is a side I am wearing my faja so uh, my legs do look a little skinnier than my butt but it does blend in once I take it off since it's just compression on my legs here's the back and then here's the side again and here's the front all my scars have healed pretty well and they're really tiny i am planning on buying bio oil from target or something so i can you know speed up the process of my scars but they're so tiny guys like so damn tiny like you can't even see them other than that i'm so happy my recovery process was something else but i feel so much better now and i'm just happy i'm so much more confident and i'm just so happy that i was able to take you guys with me on this journey because it was so hard to record i feel like i should have recorded so much more but it was just hard <laughs> so hopefully this was enough for you guys so you can see everything and if you're planning on doing this or just seeing in general um just how it is because sometimes it's not easy but other than that, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Hopefully you guys subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so every time I post, you will get a little notification. Follow me on all my social media accounts. I will have them all linked down below on my bio. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.